Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. In this tutorial, let us learn about hard constraints versus soft constraints in Primavera P6. In Primavera, there are two types of constraints. They are hard and soft constraints. Hard constraints like mandatory start and mandatory finish fixed to the date and can violate the relationship logic. But whereas Soft constraints other than mandatory constraints follow the constraint and give priority to the relationships. Now let us understand this by an example. Here I am considering a small sample schedule with three activities A, B, C with the following dates like this. The activity C is having a soft constraint that is finish on 19th November 2020. Now, let us update the activity A's actual dates as 2nd November and finish on 10th November. And let's schedule the project with the data date as 10th November. You will observe that the activity C's finish date has been moved to 21st November and the total float has become negative that is minus 2. This negative float indicates that we cannot meet the project finish date with this schedule. Okay, if you observe the Gantt chart, it will show us the same sequence that is activity C followed by activity B. Now, let us understand the hard constraint. Here the activity C is having the mandatory finish constraint. On the same day 19th November. Let us update activity A with actual start as 2nd November and actual finish as 10th November. Schedule the project with the data date as 10th November. You will observe that the activity C's dates are fixed and not changed at all. And also note that the activity C's Start date is shown before the activity B's finish date. That is a clear violation of the relationship logic. The same can be seen in the Gantt chart. See, the activity C is being shown as commencing before the finish of the activity B. Got it? So friends, you should be selecting the constraint based on your exact requirement to maintain the accuracy in the project schedule. So this is all about the hard and soft constraints in Primavera P6. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.